What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred and welcome back to another Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shiny Pearl Guide video. In today's video, we're going to be going over and showing you guys how to clone Pokemon and duplicate items in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shiny Pearl and oh my god, I can't believe this is real. We haven't had a duplication glitch like this for a very long time in Pokemon. I actually can't remember the last time outside of Generation 2. Correct me if I'm wrong about that in the comment section below, but oh boy, this is probably gonna get patched. So with that being said, if it does get patched, I will correct the title of this video and just say, hey, this has been patched, as well as the description, the pin comment on this video will probably say if it got patched or if there's a workaround whatever the case may be if there's an update to this but let's jump into it so let's just give credit where credit is due this video i found it on twitter so here is the clip and then i'm gonna try to do it myself on patch 1.1 it's possible to clone pokemon this process will delete a pokemon you own so you might want to catch one new first you want to go to the Zalaceon daycare and pull up your boxes you need to have two Pokemon that are in the same position and different boxes, so here I'm putting two in the bottom right corner. Then you want to take one and place it into the battle box. The other Pokemon is going to be placed into the daycare. You want to first insert it into the daycare by selecting it, and then before you close out, you want to click in the box list in the bottom left. You want to press Y and swap the slots that they're placed in, and then deposit your Pokemon. After this, you want to reopen your boxes and go to the battle box, and you'll notice that there's a glitch in the bottom. You then want to take a Pokemon you're going to delete and insert it, and take the Pokemon you're going to clone and add it into the list. Then you want to view the summary screen of the Pokemon you just added. When you come back out, you'll see that your Pokemon has been cloned. You can take it out of the battle box and view it, and there you have it. You'll even see that the items have been cloned. Here I have two Master Balls. Now when I seen it, I was like, wait, wait, what is he doing? He's doing a lot of steps. So I'm going to kind of follow him, break it down, and kind of try to see if I could get the same results. He did it with a legendary. So we see that there's a, you could duplicate legendary Pokemon. It doesn't really matter. As well as he did it with the legendary holding a item and duplicated a master ball. So yes, you can do this to duplicate items as well. So again, let's try to duplicate. I'm gonna try to duplicate Mew using the same method. So let's head inside and actually try to do this because I am like curious, lost, and I'm gonna try to go through it step by step to explain it to you guys kind of better, not better, but the, I, the guy kind of explained it in a way that I kind of understood, but I kind of didn't. First thing he does first is catch a Pokemon. So you wanna catch Pokemon that you know that it's gonna get deleted because he starts off the video saying, yes, a Pokemon is going to get deleted in this duplication glitch. So you do need a sacrifice for Pokemon. And that's okay, I got a couple of those in my boxes already. So in order for this to work, you gotta first pull up your boxes. How do you get your boxes? Go to Pokemon, you press R, and then you gotta put two Pokemon in the same position. Now. He put Pokemon in the bottom right hand corner and I'm gonna do the same. Box one, got a tentacle here. And then box, let's just say box three, we're gonna put a uh, Hootoot. Hootoot, you're going to box three. I don't know, don't ask me what happened to box two. So who's going, to, who's going to box three? And then you wanna take one and then place him into the battle box. So I'm gonna place the Hootoot in the battle box so I can know which one. So we're gonna, in order to do that, you have to press X, I believe, to go to battle teams. So I'm gonna grab Hootoot and place him into the battle box. And the other one, Mr. Tentacle over here, we're gonna place him with the daycare lady. So let's jump out, start the conversation with the nursery lady, yes. Which Pokemon should we take care of? Bellhead Tentacle. Select. Then you wanna go to the box list on the bottom left and then swap these two boxes. Here's my box two, okay? So you wanna press Y, Y, you swap the two boxes, and then it says, are you done? Yes, to make sure that you deposit a Pokemon. It said it will cost 500 to leave Pokemon. Is that all right? Yes, fine, we'll take care of your Hoot Hoot. Wow, she said Hoot Hoot, and I deposited the tentacle. So that's kind of a confirmation. Okay, come back later. Now let's open our boxes and then go to the battle box. 
How do you go to battle box again? Battle teams. Oh, look at the bottom left hand corner. There is a glitch. There is a glitch. Confirm the glitch works. So we got to take the Pokemon that we want to delete and insert it into the battle box. So let's grab it. Let's register it. Drop it in this list and it went away. But it's still in my box, it says. And then take the one we want to clone, the Mew. Then add it to the list. Okay, Mew is added to the list. Then we want to see the summary screen of the Pokemon we just added, which is the Mew. So we grab Mew and check summary. Mew is here, level 37. With a Pokeball, again, just showcasing that you can duplicate items with this. And we have two Mews. <laughs> We have two meals. There's two meals in my box. The Psyduck turned into a Mew, basically. <laughs> oh God. What is going on? Oh my God. This is, this is kind of insane. This is kind of, this is kind of insane. This is kind of insane, bro. Like, how is this a real thing? <laughs> is this a real thing? You could move them out of your, yeah, nothing, nothing else is glitch. Wow. Does it work for the egg? For the Fiona, Fiona Pia? What? Does it work for the egg? Let's try the egg, because I have the egg. Let's see if it works for the egg. Wow, I have, I really have, wait. <laughs> let me, let me just, I have two Mews. <laughs> that's insane, that's insane. Okay, I'm gonna put one Mew back on my team, because that's cool. And the Hootoot is gone, right? Box four, box three, yeah. Oh no, he's with the daycare. He's at the daycare lady, right? Is is he still okay? No, don't take it. I want him back. <laughs> Let me get my <laughs> That's insane. So so guys, it works. It works. It works. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm kind of excited because this is again, this is un. All right. Now let's see. Does it work for the A? I don't think it's gonna work. And I I'ma just um. Let's just do this to test because. You sh shouldn't be able to add the egg to the battle team, right? And that's my, you know, brain head cannon thinking about it. Battle team, check summary, held item mark. Yeah, you can't bring the egg to the battle team. So unless there was a way you could actually put the egg in a battle team, this you can't do that. Wow, though. Wow. Okay. Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Shiny Pearl. Just got a little bit more interesting. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section below your thoughts about this duplication glitch. If you need any more explanation, if my explanation wasn't too helpful or I'm just too excited. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts about it in the comment section below. Let's help each other figure it out for players who are still having questions about how to actually do this in game. And what are you going to duplicate? Well, I'm probably going to just duplicate Pokemon that I want to put in Pokemon Home when that gets released. And I still want to have them here for my playthrough, but also have them in Home so I can complete that National Dex as well. And plus, I'm probably going to duplicate a couple of Master Balls to have, you know, to catch every Legendary. But let me know what your thoughts about it in the comment section below. Like always, guys, I answer all comments, so let's have that conversation down there. If you're new around here, consider hitting that subscribe button. I do videos like this every day, talking Pokemon, Mario, Fortnite, Call of Duty, wherever I feel like dropping the vibes on, I drop it here on the channel. So again, consider hitting that subscribe button. Peace, I love you guys. I'm gonna see you guys on the next one. Thank you, thank you, thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you're not a subscriber and you made it this far, hit that subscribe button. You know you want to join the family, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time I drop one of my my videos as well as hit the like button on this video so it could be recommended so more people can check it out so we can have more people join in the family if you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms such as twitter instagram or tiktok or whatever i'm daddy gamer fred on all of those again daddy gamer fred you'll be able to find all those links in the description of this video and the pin tweet comment on my Twitter. Also on all of my videos, I do answer all comments. So again, if you just wanna chat it up about the video or anything, just hit me up in the comment section below. I take time out of my day and literally answer to all the comments that you guys leave me and I love it. And again, let's have that conversation down there. Here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest. I am a variety channel. I do tons of stuff, tons of Pokemon, but tons of other stuff as well. So dive into 
listening to these videos. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.